you? Alright. I wonder who would win. Uh, like a mid-level Cloud or seven level one Luigi's? <laughs> seven level one Luigi's. Yeah, my headcanon for the Zelda universe is actually is that when uh, Ganon gets banished to the spirit realm after Ocarina of Time, he actually goes to Final Destination with three level 9 Luigis. Alright, so here, doubles grand finals. Vapor and Asprey in winners, Razia and Frey in losers. Uh, looking like blue team's favor right now. And yes, I suppose I am Alex. Hi. I am... Gets him with the side B limits clash, and that'll do us for the first sock right off the bat. Frey goes very, very deep in order to get that kill, that uh, helicopter kick kill. Oh. Doesn't quite work out, and Vapor takes the stock on Fox. So now, pretty drastically in blue team's favor at the moment. Yeah, 40 seconds in, jeez. Oh. Kills himself, he has no limit. Thought he had a jump, I'm sure. Gets him with the charge forward smash, excellent punish, and then capitalizes on his partner's... No, whatever, he kills Vapor. Who from Kate Brenton is here? Uh, I'll tell you after the match. There's... Oh yeah, after the match. Right now we have to watch. It looks like Red Team is currently gaining some leeway here. Yes. I mean, the stocks are even. Still blue team's favor, but they are bringing it back. Yeah. I mean, in doubles, this much percentage isn't... It doesn't matter that much. Good blade beam. Ooh. Gets them both. Of course, Corrin is very hard to edge guard, and to an extent, Cloud is too. He's got that big sword. Nice up smash, and that'll get him. Alright, so red team officially in the lead. Alright, never mind. No, no, they still are. like melee out here. All these up smashes. Ugh. Oh, so this is just pretty gross right now. Good down smash, good choice on face part. Gets F tilted for his troubles and that'll kill him just barely. So after a pretty sick nasty start by blue team there, now actually in the deficit. Not a tremendous lead. If they can get rid of uh, if they can get rid of Raziak right now. They tried for it. Up smash, they'll get rid of Asprey, so it's all up to Vapor now. Corrin is pretty specific. Oh, wow! V1? That was an excellent reflector. Yes. And from right, Cape so Breton, we have you? me. So, what? so, from Cape Breton, we have me, uh, Alex Haxorus. We have Nathan slash Moju. Jason slash Saint. Saint. Yes. Uh, we have Fabian here, too, actually. Uh, There's Dexter. Dexter. Oh, yeah, Dexter. Jeez, I, I remember Fabian before Dexter. Our boy Dexter is here as well. Oh, I should probably update the score. As for our results so far, I have made it out first seed. Uh, Good stuff. Thanks. First seed for life. I'm pretty sure Nathan made it out second, and I don't know about the others. Run up to battlefield. Uh, Dexter's choice. I think the only reason why this would benefit Blue Team is specifically because of Corrin. Dexter got second last year. Excellently done. So Battlefield. Oh wow, that was an excellent forward throw. Great presence of mind. Uh, Battlefield benefits both clouds equally. I mean, that's what happens in the Ditto, and Battlefield is a pretty strong pick for him. I would think 
biggest reason why they chose Battlefield is specifically because of Corrin, like I said, and also I don't really think this benefits Fox all that much. I mean, he does run re around really fast, but he focuses more on his like juggling game. He's really good at uh, confirming off of his own hits, and with the platforms in the way, that would really get in the way there. And also, Battlefield has the largest blast zones of all the legal stages, so... Nice up smash, and that'll get rid of both the blue team's stocks. Not a lead just yet. It depends on how soon they can get rid of red team stocks. That was actually really smart to use Blade Beam in order to capitalize on both the invisibility and the laser priority in order to go through Dragon Fang Shot. Nice up there. I went into this tournament uh, considering Vapor and Aspie the favorites to win, but it's looking pretty dominant right now. For Blue they team. do have the winner's advantage. Yes, that is true. I mean, they will have longer than most in order to figure out how to beat them. Yes. Team kill by Raziek on his partner Frey. And that makes it just a little bit easier. Oh, it just hangs on a little too long and forgets that Blade Beam actually does hit the ledge. Once melee, it's going on right now. I don't know if I'm streaming it. Who cares about melee? Yeah, really, though. That was a great B reverse, but unfortunately it ultimately cost him. Frey's been really good at catching these opportunities oh, for his F smashes. Just barely. I mean, that was a great read on Frey, on Frey's part. One of the most... I don't want to say fun things, but like one of the most useless things that you can do when you're watching a doubles match is count how many times you hear the shield sound pop out. Because hmm. it comes up quite a bit. I agree, melee players don't care about melee. I mean, seriously, I bet melee players don't even play melee. Force smash to kill Fox. Uh, no, still in red team's favor because Corrin is on her last stock and at a very high percentage. Good down smash, and that'll take it. So now blue team is officially in the lead. However, Corrin is... All right, there you go. So now red team. Red team in the lead. Boing. Nice up smash, and now it's all up to Cloud. Now, if any character can do it, it's Cloud. It's a really hard window to get that up smash, and the usual get it. It's impressive how often he's beginning these up smashes. If he went for a finishing touch, it would have been swank. Finishing touch. Alright, up there does it. So, they gotta figure this out. How are they gonna win against Red Team? Oh, the I'd say if they wanted to try something different, now would be the match to do it before the next uh, set starts. I don't know, they still have a whole other set to lose. Well, that's what I'm saying, like... Oh, whoops. Now it would be the time to experiment, in my opinion. But of course... Well, I suppose Vapor could use a Zero Suit. But I don't know if Asprey has any other characters that he would consider using. Where's Aaron with my food? I am a hungry, hungry hippo. Three, two, one. Going over to Smashville, sticking with uh, their team plan. I mean, the team plan did get them all the way to Grand Finals on winner's side, and they did, like, presumably they fought this team to get there. Good forward smash. Looking a little different. It's largely tied, except for Fox. Yeah. 
Got a little too horny for that uh, that cross slash. And now blue team is starting to suck it up again. Oh wow. He's got to stop with the uh, the standard getups. Frey has been starting to read them way too often. Nice up smash gets him. The golf swing at 100. I was gonna say if they could get rid of foxes, it'd be moderately even. Except corn is already at 100%. Corn yeah, I was not expecting this like quickly put together team last minute yeah, to do so well against arguably our region's strongest established team. right there and he didn't do anything. Goes for the bite and gets punished for his troubles. Frey finally losing his first stock. He uses forward smash to clank Fox's rapid jab in order to save his partner. Pretty unorthodox. Back air. Neutral layers to keep uh, Cloud off. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, you, uh, you hate to see that happen. Just walks right up and forward smashes. I mean, like, why not? Uh, this is a good back air. Now, blue team is back in it. If Corrin could just not take any damage for a little while, he'll be laughing. Whatever. I said, like, ultimate drill, but whatever. Back to the match. Like, like I said, Red Team is bringing it back. Razziak got a fairly high percent, and there goes Fox. So now it's all up to Razziak's Cloud. And like I said, if any character can do it, it's Cloud. I don't know if anyone can do it, it's Razziak. Almost. Just a little bit more. I mean, Raziak is at a pretty significant disadvantage right now. I mean, did you just get rid of uh, blue team? Nice dash attack. Nice neutral there. Opting not to go for it. Oh, good uh, blade beam, it. and that'll just barely do it. Nicely done. That was an excellent read. He was saying team the other day. Avoids getting 3 0 for their first set. Yeah. So they didn't get frauded out. They weren't going into the bracket reset after frauded. getting 3 0'd. It's Sorry? Going into the bracket reset after getting 3 0'd, it's some really bad momentum. Yeah. No, they didn't reset, no. Why do you two want to commentate? Why do you two want to commentate while I eat? Alright, so uh, where are we at here? 2-1 uh, with Raziek and Frey versus Vapor and Asprey. Looking to make the bracket reset. Let's see, where are we? Two clouds on the screen, a corn and a fox. Alright. So now that I have my bearings, let's do some commentary. Razzy on the edge. Okay. Oh, nice conversion by Razziak. And Frey picks up the uh, edge guard. Uh, yes, hold your mic a bit closer. These things are sensitive. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Are you doing commentary as well, or just... I, I guess. Up? I just can't okay. think of much to say. I'm not the best commentator. All right. Rio, sir. Oh, oh, that's... uh. That's Myers. What's up, Myers? You should have made it out today. It's too unfortunate. Uh, we look forward to seeing you, but oh well. Um, so yeah, pretty surprising. Uh, Raziak and Frey are... Uh, this is the first time they're teaming together. 
Uh, we had a Smash Fest on, I believe, Wednesday, where they teamed together for like a few hours, and they're they're picking up pretty good. So uh, yeah, they look quickly, quickly, certainly. Yeah, yeah, they're looking pretty good. Uh, Vapor and Aspray, always the favorite to win doubles tournaments in Nova Scotia now. Yeah, I'm so. pretty surprised to see this, you know, recently put together team just suddenly apparently beating them. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like. Obviously, Razik is uh, the best player in our region, and Frey is like, he's just gotten so good in the last couple months. Yeah, he, he seems to have really good awareness in doubles. He's always in the right moment to get that up smash when he's needed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice up air from Razik. Takes uh, Asprey Sock, and we've got a dead even game right now. Audio is a bit so. Static I'll admit, I don't know what to do about that. Actually, go ahead. I'm not a very good commentator. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna have. I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave commentary now. Here's Cole. All right, cool. So we're gonna have Cole on commentary, aka Spamalanche, aka first in his pool, taking out. Uh, okay, sounds good. Wait, what's what's Nathan's tag? Nathan? Yeah, what's his tag? Uh, PVP Moju. Moju. Yeah, yeah, yeah Moju. Out Moju. Yeah. Okay, but oh. more importantly, all right. This is what game is this? This is uh, game. Yo! Oh, that did. Oh, okay, and never mind. Frey so, was at 20. Uh, Razzik and Frey looking to make the bracket reset right now. They're looking to, they're looking uh, for the bracket reset? Oh, yeah! yeah. Right, but it looks like this one's going to go to game 5. So. Yeah, it's definitely going to game 5. Frey, Frey's got to do. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. that's it. Alright. That's it. And, Fox uh, is too late. Let's see, how do I how do I change th this one? Oh, baby! This one? Oh, right click. And refret. Okay. For real though, the nuts on Fox to be able to fight these guys, like. Oh. Okay, There's sorry. swords flying everywhere, and he's just gotta. Alright. And we are into game five. Um. So Vapor and Ashpray looking to close this out, and Vapor and Frey looking to put it away. Raziak took a lot of early percent there. Like yeah, he did. Didn't yo, what's up? Oh, this is okay. Yeah, yeah. Simmons, are you running anything? Okay, never mind. All right, and yeah, Ra <laughs> Vapor and Ashpray are looking like it's yeah, not. It's not solid, difficult solid. to see who they're focusing on right now. Yeah, they're they're looking to take out Raziak. Yeah, which I understand. Oh. Because, I mean, cloud with limit. I get it. Yep. And this is very confusing right now because there's two clouds with limit. Yep. And I can never tell them apart. Oh, you know? nice grab. I think Frey almost tried to pick up uh, uh, Nair on oh. against Jordan. Razzik's off stage. Oh, oh and he had to bust. Limit. He had to blow his limit. Asprey just scans. Uh, oh, wow. Well, that was uh, that was pretty shifty movement by Razzik there, avoiding uh, Asprey's limit. Uh, down smash will take uh, Razzik's first stock. But, oh. Asprey keeps his jump. That was clever. Oh, I didn't know he had his jump. Okay. Whoa. Vapor loses his and first stock. It's, it's real even now. Yeah, is it ever? This is awesome. Uh, if they can pick up the edge guard on Frey here, then uh, yeah, okay. that's it. All right, that's it. So now the blue uh, team takes a solid team, lead. Yeah, solid lead. Yeah. Because Asprey's only at sixty-seven percent. Like he's he's living for quite some time. All right. Nice ledge snap there by Asprey. Yo, where's? Uh, the bracket, unfortunately, we can't, like, just show it to you because it's in TIO Pro, which, it's not challenged, yep. so. Oh. But this is Grand Finals, if you didn't know. Oh, yo! Alright, yo, for oh, real, blue team catches Raziak! And, uh, looking real good for Asprey looking right now. Dude, Asprey hasn't lost his stock yet. Yeah, he's still on his first. That's hype. Yep, so it's going to be a big challenge for him to break. Oh! Does he still... No, he doesn't have his jump. Oh, did he? No, he's out. Oh, but Frey SDs! Uh-oh. He didn't get the mangles! Yeah. Looking really difficult. Um, it looks like Vapor and Asprey are going to gonna take this. I mean, it's not over yet, but... No, it's never over, but... Oh! Oh, just dares everyone. Asprey just smack. Yeah, that... I don't know. I think that was worse for Vapor than anybody. I know. <laughs> oh, for real! Alright, and 
Okay, so they're up. Uh, it, it's Blue, teams, but like Blue team still has a commanding lead. Like oh, yeah. they have to, they have to get a quick kill on one of them. What somebody's got to get gimped uh, here. They're, they're at like zero. They're basically at no percentage. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but but Asprey and Corin both, or uh, Cloud and Corin both have really like yep. bad vertical oh my recoveries. God, gets super lucky and clanks with uh, Dragon Fang. Do you think he knew it would clank? I don't think so. <laughs> I think he just threw it in there. I don't know, man. He's a pretty smart player. I, I know. I don't have that much faith in Blake, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do. I believe. Yeah, okay. Fair I believe he knew that the whole time. Asprey just playing the dance game with... Uh, oh! Is that it for... No, that's not it for Raziek yet! Misleading. Oh, what that's it for Raziek. Right Why is it misleading? Uh, touch the clouds? Let us know. Okay. Oh, nice. Pick. Frey has yeah, to go on like a. For the dare, and we're gonna see some sick. We're gonna see. Combo. They're they're trying they're trying to do a stupid team combo. They're they're not gonna let them live. They're gonna play with them yeah, now. See see how they. Quit playing with your food. Run. Quit playing with your food, guys. And and uh, Brian just smiling right now. So this little yeah, he can't not. Face. He can't not. They're up three stocks to one. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I mean, oh, Brian. oh. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. And he's not. Oh, oh okay. Right. I was gonna say, is he taking the stock? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has to take the stock. There we go. And uh, vapor finishing to uh, doubles that battle by the ridge. Congratulations. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to vapor and Asprey. Yeah, I don't know what the payout is, but it's probably pretty good. I mean, it was ten dollars per player, and there were twenty teams, yeah. so that's uh, four hundred dollars. They're probably gonna make at least a hundred each. Or 